Julie Hughes, I'm a professor in the history department, and I also am in the Asian Studies program and Environmental Studies program. All right, so can you talk about the kind of work and the kind of classes that you do and offer here at Vassar? Oh, I've got everything from kind of fairly standard introductory histories to India through um, environmental tinged things. So I've got an introduction to environmental studies, which is currently 250 environmentalism in, per environmentalisms in perspective. It's difficult to say because it's not really a word, I think. Um, and then it's going to be a 100 level next year. But that one, we are looking at the British colonial empire and trying to grasp it from an environmental standpoint, see if we can trace the development of understandings of the environment from starting in the Caribbean with the pineapple, actually, through South Africa, where we're looking at um, impact on the environment from sheep farming and, oddly enough, ostrich ranching. And then we get into India, where we're looking at forestry. And we're seeing these very interesting shifts linking up with changes and understandings of climate, of how the atmosphere cleanses the environment or doesn't cleanse it, depending. Um, through this very almost bureaucratic scientific engagement with the environment in India with a full-blown colonial bureaucracy where they're really interested in the economic outputs, the ones they can really write down on paper and say we earn this much from our teak plantations and a distancing away from the more scientific understandings of atmosphere, of what link these forests might have into that. And all these wonderful connections between scientific understanding, how colonialism and racism and interpersonal reaction actions are, are working together, um, and then the environment itself. So right. I'm learning a lot. I hope the students are too, but I'm having a great time. Very cool. Yeah. And so you're working you're working on something else right now mm -hmm. as well. So can you talk a little about that? Yes, I am wrapping up my book, which is a revision of my PhD dissertation and the book. Um, what has the, you don't actually get to choose your own book title, by the way, this is a big secret. Um, it has to be chosen in consultation with your editor, but I'm happy with mine. It's going to be Animal Kingdoms, and then I can never remember the last bit. It's the part after the colon, but it's something along the lines of hunting, environment, and power in the Indian princely states, and it's coming out on Harvard University Press in the United States and in India on Permanent Black probably next year. But I have to finish it and give it to them probably the end of spring break. That's what I'm aiming for, but definitely the end of this March. So all of those seniors are writing their senior theses. I'm doing this. Um, so I have no sympathy for them, or I have a lot, depending. Uh, but the project, the book itself, what I'm doing in it, is very similar to what I do in some of the classes in terms of the larger themes. But what I specifically do is I look at three locations in India, three princely states. So these are places that even throughout the British Empire in India, they were separately administered by independent Indian rulers who were still under a lot of regulation and control by, um, by the British, but they were nominally independent. And I focus in on their hunting reserves, on their hunting grounds, and how that space which is a very important space for their interactions with the British colonizers, with other Indian princes, other elites, and then with the nobles who are in their states underneath them, how all these people are interacting within a hunting environment, how the Indian princes are identifying themselves, contesting hierarchies, um, understanding what the role of the environment is in their political and social lives. And I get to look at wild boar and whether or not they are bigger, fatter, faster, and better in one state because of the environment. And apparently they might actually have been um, versus another state where it was a desert state and it supposedly led to not very good pigs that ate the wrong diet, which kind of bloated them up rather than actually making pigs of substance. Um, they were eating beans. Right. Yes. <laughs> you get to have fun in history is, is the point of that, I think. 